will be starting shortly. You can say hi in the chat. It's my first time doing a YouTube stream like this, so if you have comments or suggestions or issues, let me know. I'm going to rely on my mic, I think the one that you hear me on now, which may not be as good as my other one, but I think it'll be easier for me. So, yeah. It's... Hi, JC. Okay, so there's the reference. It's mikehenley.com slash live draw. I wanted to do something different this time. Uh, so this probably won't take us as long, but um, I'm going to do it in just pencil. So if you want to do it in digital or watercolor, oil, whatever the, whatever the case, that's all good. Um, I'm going to keep this up. I'm going to switch screens here in a second and we'll get started. Let me know if the audio sounds okay. If not, I can always switch to... I'm going to keep the, the audio on for my... Uh, pencil work, but I can turn on my other mic, which sounds like this, but um, it's going to be kind of in my way a little bit as I'm drawing. So if possible, I'd like to just stick with that mic. So let's uh, let's switch to there. Is that any better with the sound? Just let me know if you can hear me and uh, I will continue. I'm going to assume you can hear me, but we'll see. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to start with the head of this dragonfly. So I don't know if you did you hear, did anyone hear anything of what I just said? Um, and that may be a no. Okay, so what I was saying earlier is this isn't my photo. I found this out on Unsplash, and so I have a right. We have rights to use certain images on Unsplash. So I thought this would be kind of an interesting, and hi Angie. Um, or Angela, sorry. Um, yeah, so I, um, anyways, I thought this was an interesting, I've done this in colored pencil before, and I thought it'd be fun to do it in graphite this time. I always like working with uh, graphite every so often. 
in my next uh, podcast I talk about. It's like a, a warm glass of milk for me. Um, or maybe cold glasses, maybe what I mean. Anyways, it, it, it grounds me a little bit when I get back to graphite after doing other things or just when life gets busy. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to do it in graphite. So I'm just starting with kind of the eye because uh, the eye gives you some proportion around the other elements here. Oh, I got this cool electric racer, which is kind of fun. And it's by Tenwin. And it has this little tiny eraser and a little, can you hear that? Okay, Angie. I wasn't sure if this was an Angela or the Angie. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on this piece, work on this eye. I have to get back to editing the podcast right after this. Had some uh, technical issues with the company that hosts my recording system. And so the editing was taking me a little bit longer than normal this time. So it is, that's what it is, right? So I tried to... Um, I have the mic picking up kind of my scratches here. I don't know if that's too loud and I'm relying on that. Um, you probably didn't hear me earlier, but I, I could switch to my other mic, which is this one. And then I would have two mics. Oh, maybe that's okay. Let me know if that's worth it. Um, I'm just gonna get this so that I don't hit my mic as I'm speaking, but let me let me know if that sounds better. So. If it was better the other way, once again, you're a little bit of my, you're my guinea pigs through this, <laughs> my beta testers, as I try and see if, uh, if YouTube, because I think in some ways this could be a better experience because it allows us to, uh, you know, to have the reference up. You can see me. I feel like I need to wear a hat. I've got the lights so bright in here, uh, just to light up the paper and I feel like I'm lit up too much, so. I'll fix that next time. So anyway, I hope you all had a, uh, a good week. I'm going to bring this eye back a little bit. Okay, so I'll leave this one on. It's not really in my way. The cord's kind of hanging down, but I think it'll be good. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, we'll leave it like that. So there's two mics running here, two mics on mic. We'll see how far we get. So I also have a view that, uh, maybe I'll go to this view. I don't know if you think you need to see me, right? There. And uh, I can always come back if I need to answer questions, but that way we can focus. And my hope was that you could have this on your computer or iPad and it ends up. Hi, Ricky. Um, <laughs> Star is born. Yes. Um, yeah, so my, my thought was you could have then just watching this single screen. You've got the reference up on, this, on the corner here. And... Um, you can watch what I'm doing and work on what you're, whatever you're working on. I thought that would be kind of fun. So, taking my time a little bit here. It's so funny. He's almost he or she have a, has a little uh, has a little mohawk here, eh? That's kind of fun. So yeah, I hope y'all had a, a good week. A new podcast tomorrow, and it was a good conversation with somebody from uh, Tasmania. So these 
alternate time zones always are a little bit challenging to uh, to get them scheduled just right with the timing and obviously the technical issue I had this time. I didn't include a soundtrack this time. I, I, I maybe will do it in future, but I worry about even though I, I'm using copyright for YouTube stuff that uh, YouTube may end up shutting it down. So that's why it is just me this time. So, um, yeah. Just going to work on a few of the, uh, try and get some of the elements here sorted out. Being really light, this is my uh, graph gear with uh, my typical 2B lead. I'm just trying to get the these little eye freckles sorted out, and then we'll come down with the bottom part of the eye. I am keeping an eye on the chat. I didn't, I was going to tweet about this, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a few of these under my belt before I start telling the whole world that we're doing this. So I appreciate you being here, sitting with me as, uh, as we create together. And as always, if you're working on something else, that's cool. And if, uh, if you tag me on Instagram, I will share these. As I always do. It's been such a crazy week. It was nice to do, do that, uh, the rose hip entry in my perpetual journal. Really enjoying that. I, I find it's a, it's a great idea, and I'll talk more about it on the podcast, but... It kind of keeps me accountable, but the pressure isn't big because it's just one image a week. So I feel like I can do that. I just want to get the head right because then if I get the, the head correct, the rest of it will work. So I think next week, I think we may do a, uh, we talked about a, a reptile. So I think next week will be a reptile. I hope that uh, when you're outside at some point, wherever you are and things get warmer, the dragonflies come out that you'll remember what we did here and maybe keep an eye on them and they're so fantastic at eating some of those nasty bugs i remember one reaching out right in front of me um, it was sitting on a blade of grass looking at me as i was looking into the pond because there was a deer fly flying around my head and it uh, it flew up at me. It wasn't after me, it was after the, the fly. And it caught it, brought it back to the blade of grass and ripped its head off and started eating it. And I was like, oh man, thank you so much. <laughs> a bit aggressive, but thank you. So I want to get in this... This kind of yellow shape in here. After this, I've got to uh, 
as I mentioned before, I'm going to edit the podcast. And I also bring this over a little bit more. I also have to uh, put on the summer tires because it is that time of year. And I don't know if I'm going to do this every week on YouTube. We'll see. I'm expecting a small audience because I don't know how many followers I have. 74. So it's a small grouping. But um, I think I'm going to post more stuff on YouTube. We'll see where that uh, that takes me. I feel like it's a uh, it's a better venue. I'm going to do some uh, some reviews of some of the material I have, and uh, which I don't think is well supported in in the uh, Instagram world. thing I have to be careful of is I want to zoom in on the photo, but as soon as I do that, it's going to mess it up for all of you, so we should play it by ear. Any other platform I thought about using was Twitch as well, but you know I felt that maybe more people are on here. I, I have the ability to broadcast both to Twitch and YouTube, which I could also consider in the future. So again, I'm treating this like a sketch. I'm not trying to get everything perfect. I'm more just um, playing around as I normally do with this idea of, you know, how do I, how would I do that? And then I work on it and and I try another element. And how would I render that part of the eye? So let me know what you think. Is this, even though there's just a few of us, is this a, um, do you like the audio and the video experience here versus Instagram? Are you indifferent? It'll help uh, to inform me moving forward. I think regardless, I am going to do something in, on both platforms, but I'm uh, curious what your thoughts are. If I, I'm going to try a zoom here, but this may break it. Yeah, that's not working. Okay, we'll go back to we'll go back to there. I was hoping it would uh, be able to zoom, but it can't focus at that distance. I'm actually using my phone as my camera here.
So I'm going to try and rough in these these areas. I think the nice thing about Instagram is I can see who's here. Yeah, that's my hope is that it is a, a richer experience. And I, you know, I've been meaning to do some YouTube or YouTube Instagram lives for the people uh, over in Australia because this is 1 a.m. for them. But it's just been such a crazy week. I can't couldn't find the time in the evenings. Uh, I was working quite late, I think three days this week at work, and uh, just exhausted. So finally feel like I'm getting my mind back. Lift off some uh, graphite here on this bit. And back top part of the eye here. Then that way I can go a little bit darker. I know I'm kind of bouncing around here a little bit, but it's what I do. I'm, as I'm working on one side, I'm Excuse the pun, but I'm eyeing the other parts of the dragonfly. I made maple syrup last weekend and my second batch and it's still roll it's still flowing so I'm going to have to make some more next week or this coming week I should say I've made uh like 3 liters maybe maybe almost 4 I know, I know for other parts of the world, it's not as significant a thing as it is here, but it's kind of almost a, a spring thing, especially March break with kids. You take them to the sugar bush and you have a breakfast and they pour some of the, uh, the warm maple syrup that they've turned into basically a candy onto like crushed ice or snow and you roll it with a little stick and it becomes almost like a little uh, lollipop. So good. So on the podcast tomorrow, tomorrow's 75. Can you believe 75 episodes? I wouldn't have never thunk it. But um, yeah, I've got some uh, friends of mine who also do a podcast, and theirs is turning 100. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking I, you know, at some point maybe I'm going to send some uh, mushrooming to people, but maybe it should be uh, maple syrup. Yeah, so they're turning 100, so I will talk about them. Their episode 100 is this week. I recorded a nice uh, little message for them, which I don't know if they'll play it or not, but I sent them the clip. And um, yeah, I don't know if I'll get to 100. I mean, 100 would be next May. So I don't think I have plans of ending but you know what? I don't, I don't know. I'd hope to get it to 200. I didn't think I would get the 75, so. Never really thought about the numbers until um, they asked if I would, uh, for a clip. 
for their show, and I was thinking, wow, right. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of podcasts, a lot of hours editing, and it is a lot of work. So I do really appreciate those of you who are patrons, because I know you are here. And I'm just trying to figure out ways to uh, to do more for my patrons. And uh, still be able to keep my job, <laughs> my day job. So I'm going to have to um, work a little bit to define this. I'm going to try this little eraser. I haven't really used this very much. That's probably annoying, is it? I realize that's right in the microphone. Not like a dentist's office, does it? Sorry. So for these kind of, whatever you call them, the, sh the shell on the outside of the, uh, the, the dragonfly, I'm just kind of doing these random things, random shapes, and that's how I kind of work in defining those. I'm kind of, I'm leaving the wings till the very last, so I may not even get to them because that's harder to kind of remove and deal with, but... I want to make sure that I get the leggy bits sorted out. I really, I really was uh, thought this was an amazing photo that Eric took because it's uh, you don't often see people catching kind of dragonflies in flight. I thought he did an amazing job here. So I don't know where the end of these legs are going to end. So I'm kind of just move, inching along here with a combination of these um, these little bits here. I'm coming in a bit darker. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, that's not a bad idea, Ricky. I know you've talked about before about that I should have a Twitter space. Um, I, I will do that. I need to think about a way that uh, where we can all talk. I don't want it to be um, just about me and my work, but um, I'm going to set something up, I think. Uh, there was an interesting discussion this week on Clubhouse about brushes and the brushes people use. And I like uh, I like talking about the tools that we're using because I it's not just oh you're using this. It's well when I use it I may use it differently, and so it's just being exposed to these different things. Uh, my guest this week talks about uh, clayboard, which I've never really heard about until he spoke about it, then I'm on a Google search. So I think those experiences are great. All right, so let's go up here with this bit. And we're going to come down here a bit darker. And it's really, what I really liked about this subject is there's so much going on. Like you've got to deal with the wings, like those are going to be, well, wings aren't that bad, but um, you've got the detail of the eye. Um, you've got uh, the detail around the body parts back here where you've got to do this kind of sh subtle shading to show that, you know, there's there's parts here that receive more light. So they're showing a reflection. 
reflect more light, I should say. So I'm going to just remove a bit. In here. And we've got that bit there, so. And then this reflection in here, too. Trying to be a little bit looser with this one. And then we're going to go down down here. Yeah, I even thought about, you know, should I post something on Instagram to tell people, oh yeah, come here by the way. But I did not. It's funny because it's like, everybody come, but wait, nobody come because <laughs> I'm just doing this for the first time. So I'm using like a completely different software package. I'm using something called Streamlabs. And uh, Streamlabs allows me to... Uh, to have cute, fun little scenes and manage my cameras. And I can share the image. So I think it's a much better experience overall. I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit here or I'm, or I'm gonna end up hitting my uh, my mic. <laughs> well, ASMR pencil push. Okay, so we're still, the legs are still going back here. We can come down this way. don't think I can, oh, I can zoom. Well, isn't that better? Didn't realize I could zoom. So I hope you're going to have a good week this week. I'm trying to give of give myself a little bit more priority this week than I did last week cuz work was crazy. I don't know if I'll be successful at it, but at least being uh, easier on myself. So I'm not really, you know, in this case, I'm not measuring out and doing an overall sketch before I come in. I'm just kind of building it out. And I do this a lot. If I was doing this as a commission, I would approach it differently. 
but in this case I kind of just um, I get a sense I think of the scale in my head and then I just use various points in here to, to start building those um, those pieces So we've got the, uh, the leg finishes here. So I'm just going to adjust this here. I'm trying to keep it in frame. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about the wings, except building these, the attachment points. I don't know if you've seen Dune yet. I thought it was quite good. I'm, uh, there are many more, I think, Dunes to come. I don't know if it's intended to be three movies, but it's no secret to say that uh, it's not. The story is not complete at the end. And in some ways going into it expecting that's probably a good thing. Let's get some of these hairs out here. amazing that adding just a few of these hairs really serves to to give it a bit of dimension okay once again just being a, a slave to the process here there's parts of it that I know don't look good but I know what's coming and just focusing on little areas at a time. Uh, if you liked my reel, I am going to do more of those. I, I really, I mean, I enjoyed doing it. And I really feel like it's, uh, I'm going to do more of that that kind of shares what I do and how I do it. Not that it's the best way of doing things, but I'm always curious how people make things. And so... I kind of wish more people would do that. I want to know what goes on in your head. Okay. I'm just going to bring this. Up here a little bit. Just taking a look at the quality of the image here. It's not bad when I'm looking at the YouTube quality. Uh, once again, thank you for being my uh, guinea pigs here as I try and figure this out. Yeah, what happened last week is I had everything set up. And then the software I use, I can say, oh, uh, I use this schedule event and replace it with this wonderful live content. And it just would not do it. 
So that's why there's no kind of premiere link that you could subscribe to and be reminded of this this time because I was worried it would happen again. So I did a test during the week and this seemed to work. The thing that was odd is I first started this stream and I noticed it said, oh, your comments are turned off. And I'm like, what? I want comments turned off. So what it seems is that uh, if you say that it is um, okay for children, it turns off your uh, comments, which, you know, probably makes sense. If it's okay for children, you don't want them to be impacted by those comments, which can be quite disruptive. So I was like, oh, okay. So this video is not suitable for kids. There you go. All right, so now we're building out its, uh, its tail. Or I'm building out its tail. And I know this is round, so I'm actually gonna accentuate a little bit more the, the little connections here. And I'm going to go a little bit smaller until I get a sense of the size, because I can always go a little bit bigger. And I'm looking at, you know, this is the, the body is a unit. To me, it looks like it's about two and a half units long. So if I look at this distance, that'll bring us to here and then a little bit more to here. And so I'm trying to, uh, to eye that up. Now we got it. And that means this is gonna have to get a little bit bigger. And then we're going to go from a little bit fat there down to something like that. So these will have to come out a little bit. So I'm not going to be 100% kind of scientifically accurate here. But it's going to be slightly representational. My thumb is rubbing up against the uh, the microphone cable, but I, every time I interview somebody on the podcast, I talk about the importance of good audio. I hate listening to a podcast where you can tell it was like a recorded Zoom or Skype call. You get that kind of uh, can of soup kind of wonkiness that happens with the audio as it, uh, as the internet compresses it and decompresses it, not a good experience. So I may end up going back to Instagram maybe next week. And we can all talk about how great it was here. And 
brightness. So when I'm doing dragonflies, I always get the body because then you can figure out, okay, the wing crosses here, it hits here, I can connect the lines then. Or the top of the top wing is up here. Like it, it just, it helps. Um, so that's why I'm doing the body first. My guest this week uh, came back to art later in life. It's just great to hear those stories. I think there's some wonderful artists out there, but uh, to ensure that what we're saying about everyone doesn't harm those people um, following their dreams or their their interests. That's why I like to mix it up and have some people uh, who are coming at, at it either without an education or later in life. Yeah, so maybe I'll I'll think about a uh, a Twitter Spaces. I can start something up around a a topic. One evening, and we can see how that goes. part of the SciArt uh, Twitter community, and uh, I, I think there was one last week, or the week before, but there wasn't one this past week, and I was missing it. Even though it wasn't on the one the week previous, maybe they explained that there wasn't one coming. If you remember, there's a movie, a uh, Disney movie called, uh, oh, was it Runaways, Castaways? With a bunch of mice living in uh, like a swamp area. Anyways, there was a dragonfly in that. And uh, his name was Evan Rood, which I thought was so clever because I grew up fishing with my dad and my brother and... We had an Evan Rood outboard motor. I don't know, look how smart they are. The Rescuers. I think it was the Rescuers. Maybe that was it. Okay. We have a tail. 
All right, so I think I'm going to start with this wing over here. So I'm going to figure out its exit point, which is this area right here. Now this wing is over. This wing and the wing above it are over this tail, so I'm going to be quite fine just drawing them over it. And I kind of want to bring it out to almost the end of the tail. And how high do I want to be? Like somewhere in here? And then we want to come back and we want it to cross here. Maybe more like there. And then come back like that. I was thinking I should have like painter's tape on the edges here to know where my boundaries are for my paper, but that's probably too weird, right? So I'm just roughing in. There's some interesting uh, veins coming off this way. And this one does, does a little dippy do, and then goes up like that. And then for the back, there's a couple. down like this, making sure that these lines are a little bit thicker than the other lines. Now I know that this vein does that. So, and we're going to have some of these go up like that, and then another one. See, I'm just drawing right over these. Just going to be fairly quick here. I feel like maybe I should do this as a uh, this kind of thing as a reel or like a little kind of instructional piece. So I'm not really thinking of this, of this as an instructional video. I'm just talking in my head. I'm talking out loud about what I'm thinking about in my head through going through some of these pieces here, as opposed to hoping to teach you something specific. I'm going to come down and
just want to highlight this top part of the wing here. Okay. We have a wing done. We may actually get this, or I may actually get this done. Um, okay, so this one's going to come off like that and fold up to some height here. I'm not sure I'm going to save this video, so I will see. some point in here. This comes down. And I did a colored pencil one of these, and it was uh, ended up being a commission for somebody. Just trying to get the major connection points here and trying to understand these um, these veins and what they do. Some of these like this one go in and drop off like that. guess this week has a very uh, funny story about spiders. I'm not going to say anything more. 
except he uh, was illustrating spiders and there's a you need to be mindful of, of certain things when drawing spiders we'll have to tune in tomorrow <laughs> to hear what he was talking about Okay, so for this, I'm going to want to be much lighter in here. I'm holding my pen, pencil a little bit differently just to just to uh, try and get that. There's some interesting kind of vein stuff going in here. I think this may save it as being a video that people can watch afterwards. I may just, I may not keep it there. Because obviously there was a point at the beginning where you couldn't hear me, so. So I'm just going to try and just kill some of this a little bit. So, the next swing I think we're going to do is this one, which is a little bit taller than that, comes out about here and starts here. So this I'm going to be really light with, because I'm going to try. And just make it subtle. I may use a, a tortillon here, but we'll see how far I get. A tortillon is a little one of these doohickeys. So I would clean the tip on that before I do it, but there's other terms for it. People call it a smudger or a, uh, I can't even recall the other names for it, but there are other names. Getting there, getting there. I hope you, whatever you're working on is going well. As always, if you're joining late, you can uh, find the reference at mikehanley.com slash live draw. It'll stay up for a week. Coming down with this, I just want to get a rough idea of the pattern here. I'm 
I'm always amazed by everybody else's work. I think this is true for everything, right? Like you have a certain idea in your head about, this is how I would do it, and then somebody else does it differently, and you're like, huh. I don't know what happens in your head, but I like what you did. I think that's why I would I think, enjoy teaching because it gives me, it would give me an, exp an opportunity to, to learn from students and how they do it. That's why I always ask that question from my guests who are actively teaching about what they're learning because I think I want to teach so I can learn. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, uh, I don't know. Maybe if you draw enough, it gives you more of a sense of who you are and what's in your head. I feel like I'm getting pretty close here. I'm going to just... Define that a little bit. And... Uh, on the uh, dragonfly buttocks here. I shouldn't say that. No, it's, it's not. We're good. This is not a kid-friendly one, but I don't know if this is considered a butt, but <laughs> I really should do a better job of understanding these parts. The tail. I think that's probably the thorax, and this is the tail. I think... Um, before they transform, this is the part that pulls in the oxygen when they are in the pond. So, look a bit darker in here, and I think. Uh, One of my tattoo, or one of my tattoos, one of my dragonflies, and it is going to end up as a tattoo. So somebody I know has asked if they could, and I really didn't push hard against it. So I think I may end up on a, my art may end up on a tattoo at some point. That's kind of cool. I wonder if I should try and uh, choose subjects where I get it done in the session. I wasn't really thinking about, I never really think about getting it. I think it's just more uh, that we're hanging out, almost like we're in our own little coffee shop and just drawing stuff together. You know what, I'm going to, one sec. Cleaned up my uh, tortillon here. I'm going to zoom out. And uh, just. Gonna smudge a little bit of this stuff down, and then I'm gonna lift a little bit off. Yes, they are creepy. I see them in the pond, and I'm thinking because uh, there's a point in time when the mosquitoes around here are really awful, and I just I'm praying for. <laughs> The larvae to get out of the pond, get onto this piece of grass, transform. Because as soon as they come out, our population of mosquitoes drops. 
And people get freaked out because it's like, oh, the mosquitoes are so bad. We have to spray chemicals. And I'm thinking, just give nature a chance. And uh, yeah. Mostly done. I'm just going to go in here and got to get the eye right. Thank you again for joining me this week. I keep saying this, but I do plan on some point to do one during the week in the evening. Uh, I know it's not an attractive time for those of you in, in kind of Western Europe, but It'll work out. My dog is doing his job to remind us that someone is near or someone's just walking their dog. It's all good. Yeah, so good point, Ricky, about the bats. So I did, I actually installed a bat house. I built one and installed it on a tree. I, I had more tree frogs in the bat house than never saw a bat. But we do have them. As you can see, them kind of flying around at night. But uh, I can't seem to explain to them how great it would be to live near the house. So uh, I keep trying, but they... Uh, they have other plans. I don't think uh, our bad accommodation is rated too highly on air, bat and bee. <laughs> I don't know what to do to change it for them, but the service is good. We don't serve breakfast, but dinner is uh, is free if you can catch it yeah that's the thing is as soon as you get a crevice they uh, other animals take over same thing with uh, we have duck houses around the pond which I just cleaned out and filled with some new uh, shavings and materials for them And uh, last year we had uh, blackbirds and starlings nest in one. But we had two Canadian geese at the pond this morning, so that was kind of cool. They always come here and hang out, and then they go elsewhere to have their, their, their chicks. Thanks, Angie. Glad you enjoyed it. Uh, keep an eye. I don't know where I'll be next week, but I'll be doing it again. Have a great evening and have a great week. Take care of yourself. Almost done, and I'll post it. And whatever you've done, just post it and share. It doesn't have to be today. It could be tomorrow. You don't have to post it at all. If you just want to message it to me, you can do that too. 
I wasn't happy with my last one, so I actually didn't post it. So it's okay to do that too. Tabitha, glad you're able to make it. I don't know if you can hear. I tried to point the microphones to the microphones here so you can hear the scratchiness of the the paper, but it. Uh, I'm gonna remove a little bit of graphite here, and we're gonna call this. I think this dragonfly is done. I don't know if you can see. There's a little smudge up here. That's where my iPhone fell when I was setting it up, and that is the leather case, leaving a mark on my moleskin paper. So, there. Let's see if we can get a better view of it for the camera. There we go. Without all the, the shine from the lights. So, that was fun. Uh, maybe I'll shut down the stream at this point and we can do this all again next week I hope you have a good week be productive take care of yourself and uh, spend a little bit of time creating this week and uh, we will see you soon I'm going to try to do something fun this week on Instagram again maybe another reel I think that was fun but it's so hard because you get partway through it and you realize that you, I'll just go back to which one here, this one, no, there we go. So yeah, so I'm going to, uh, I think I'd do another reel, but you're always kind of forgetting that you're recording. So I end up drawing and painting and then you get into it and it's like, oh, I forgot. I already did all the burgundy and I forgot to record. So I'm going to try and be more mindful of it as I do this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I appreciate you all being here. And uh, yeah, this was fun. I hope we can do it again. And uh, don't forget, post and share, or at least if you post, uh, tag me and let me know what you did. Cool. Have a good one. See you.